This is my wife's 2013 Jeep Grand Cherokee, and we're doing the brakes on here. She had a bad shake. She had a warped rotor. Well, the only reason your rotors will start to warp is if your brake pads are applying uneven pressure onto your rotor, which stems from here. When your brakes slide in and out, or your uh, caliper bolts are not able to slide in and out, they're supposed to have grease on them, it does not apply even pressure. Your brakes get stuck in between motion and will possibly can't like this, applying uneven brake pressure, resulting in a warped rotor here. This part is raised much higher than this part is, so it's applying uneven pressure to the bottom side of your rotor. To eliminate this, <clears throat> we see a lot of shops that don't do this. You need to clean out these sections right here on your um, brake caliper bracket. Wire wheel them or take a cutoff wheel, ground some material off. This will rust if you're in a salt state. So these need to be cleaned out and you really, really need to install the aluminum or stainless steel shims that come in here to allow your brakes to slide in and out because those won't build up rust or corrosion over a long period of time. That's step one. Step two is these are your caliper bolt uh, slides right here. This allows your caliper to slide in and out when you're applying brake pressure and when, you're, when you let off. That's what allows these to move back and forth. Uh, as you can see here, these are incredibly greasy and nasty. So these don't actually have, uh, well, don't let that happen, but it'll be fine. These have no grease whatsoever on them. So there's no way for that to slide in and out once this gets dirt in there. And ideally, you need to put the caps back on there so they don't get dirt in there. But when they do, these should be looped so your brake caliper can slide in and out. Without that happening, you do not have proper brake pressure being applied to your rotors, which is going to cause warped rotors every single time. It doesn't matter how expensive they are. So you need to make sure that you do those at least those two steps for proper brake maintenance. We see a lot of shops, especially the one that did the brakes on this last time, which is the dealership we bought it from, did not do any of that proper maintenance. They threw new rotors on there. Oh yeah, these are brand new, blah, blah, blah. We didn't do any of the maintenance to prevent that from warping. So, which causes a crazy shake when you go to brake. So make sure you do that when you're doing your brakes or bring it to us and we will do it for you. Here you can see all that material that is on your caliper bracket is cleaned out. Make sure that your brake pads are cleaned out. Meaning these tabs right here, these are the tabs that slide in and out. Ideally, you wanna have those shims on there so this can slide evenly, but this does not. And we're keeping the brakes because they, they're pretty well brand new. When, you're, when you go to put this on there, line it up like it's gonna be sitting on there. This needs to slide in and out very, very freely. Let's have a little bit of play up and down. If your brake pad does not slide in and out, you need to take more material off of either the brake pad tab or your caliper bracket. Your brakes should never bind up in here. They should always flow freely back and forth to where whenever you apply brake pressure, it's gonna stop your brakes. It's gonna grind against the rotor. When you let off, that pressure should just push these back just enough to get your wheel spinning again so there's no hang up at all. If it still sits there and hangs up and can't break free, that's gonna wear and tear on your rotors unevenly that doesn't need to be there. So just make sure that these slide in and out very, very easily when you go to put all this assembly back together.